Why did St. Mary Development decide to host this event? Thanks, Caleb. St. Mary's has been tracking senior trends, especially in the Dayton area, for a long time. And most recently, we worked with Bowen National Research, a research company out of Columbus, to do a study um, of local seniors. And we looked at four counties. We looked at Montgomery County, Green, Clark, and Miami. And um, just to give you an indication of the, the senior population in those areas, the overall population has remained pretty flat and is predicted to continue to be pretty flat. But between 2010 and 2020, the senior population, 65 and up, has increased from 15% of the population to 20%. But 31% of all households will have a senior in them. So we're really seeing a pretty significant change. That, that senior group is the only age cohort that's seeing growth. Most of the other age cohorts are actually seeing some decline. At the same time, our data shows that in 2020, 38% of all seniors will have incomes less than $30,000 a year. And what that means is when it comes to paying for housing, health care, transportation, there's not going to be a lot of money left over after that. Most of these seniors, or, or at least the majority, will be living only off Social Security. And just to give you an, as an example, in our affordable senior apartments, our average income is about $12,500 a year, with 92% of our seniors living solely off Social Security. So there, we, we're seeing um, on both ends of the spectrum, the income spectrum, there are opportunities. 16% of seniors will be making over $100,000. So there are opportunities, but there's a huge mass of seniors who have these lower uh, fixed incomes. Uh, and we, we think that. Um, Connecting them to affordable housing, to health care, and how technology bridges the two is really going to be critical for our local communities. The cost to communities of not taking care of seniors is astronomical. And so our hope today, we want to have this event to start a conversation that we hope will be ongoing, where we can um, talk about not only is how do we improve the quality of life of seniors, but how do we do that in a cost-effective way that's affordable for our communities.